Hi guys, Johnny and Mr. Forex Fire, and tonight we are going to do some homework. It is, uh, I think it's the 10th of July. Uh, it is round about, uh, just have a look at the time there. 10th of July, it's around about 20 to 7. These take me roughly around about half an hour to produce, but by the time I upload them and everything else, it, it takes me a few hours to get it sorted. But we're going to be going over something on the supply and demand and something I, I uploaded earlier, which is the lower time frames using the 15 minutes to identify, obviously, that's your fractal part. We're going to be using it so you know what's happening on the higher time frame. So you're going to have an intermediary price within your swing high, swing lows, to your swing lows, to your swing highs. And I'm going to get you to follow along, take notes. <clears throat> and again, at the end of this, I will drop in the homework section, the description, what I want you to do, but also my end result, which is going to show you the 15 minute chart. Uh, as the draw up and then on another screenshot i will have it set as what the four hour looks like and this is going to help you sort of identify not having to switch between time frames but it's just going to let you understand if you get used to marking these 15 minutes up between a, a swing high and the real swing low for the intermediate terry price that's going to give you the four hour range okay so again this will be self-explanatory once we sort of go into it so let's just share the screen it's bigger make my head a bit bigger so what we've got <clears throat> okay we've got on here i'm just gonna show you this and help you identify it uh let's have a look so the brush so we've got a swing high okay a swing low right so we're gonna st i'm gonna start this from this preference you don't have to use the same pair you can use any pair as long as you start in the 15 minutes and to help you sort of identify this is the best way to do it at first so swing high swing low we've got the retracement so you've got the high you've got the lower high you break in this area You've got the lower lower, okay? You've got a lower high that's a quick retracement. You've coming down, okay? That's your lowest point before then you get the retracement. We haven't broke structure of this, so that's your highest point. You're coming down again. You need to break this structure, so that's going to be a lower lower. Your structure or your impulse is not to break this, so that's your lower high. And then that's your lower low. Okay. Now, this is going to be straightforward for the homework for tonight, but it's just going to simply help you identify this. And then I'm going to show you the 15 minute that I've just done here and then what it looks like on the four hour. Then I want you to implement this as well. From there, you're going to be going to uh, where the arrow is. It's normally on trend line. And you need to go on, where's it? That's not that one. It's not that one. It's this one here. So the brush, the brush marker, you need to go on the path, okay? And you're simply going to mark this up. So you've got the swing high to the low, okay? Retracement to the high to the low. We've got the high here to the low to the high to the low to the high to the low. Remembering that this has to be the bit that break structure. This is the intermediary price, okay? So, I'll put this here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put that because that's where price is at the moment. And if you can do where you've marked from, down to where price is, okay? So again, what this does, it does one of two things. It helps you identify between these impulse moves, intermediary price. That just means when you go up to your four hour time frame from there, we scroll this out. 
you should see something along the lines of this. You've got a high, low, you've got a, a lower high. And you see how this is very precise? You've got a lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And this is where we are currently on price. Now, between that, when you go back down to 15 minute, and this is the idea of behind this, it's given you that four hour, which is what these bits are. Let's just get, get out the Forex Fire Magic Wand. This path or this timeline, you just have to remember this is your four hour timeline. Okay. Because between the price action, these bits here. Those bits there is your intermediary price and is your 15 minute timeline. Okay, so the black line there is basically your bigger time frame, the four hour path. Okay, just get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So if you can imagine, this is your four hour without the need of having to go up to the four hour time frame. Okay, you've just got you just got to know and trust that this is what you're marking out, and there's no harm in sort of looking at to see if you're getting it. But again, as long as you you're getting the high, the low, the high, the low, it just saves you bouncing between bouncing between two time frames, especially when you're trying to analyze something very quickly to get in on a trade, to go on supply and demand, okay? So from there, guys, that's it for this. What I want you to do is go up to this here, uh, the camera, and do a copy and a screenshot, do it over 15 minutes, then go up to your four hour time frame, And I want you to post these into the homework section and put them side by side. And then what we're gonna be doing from there as well, We'll possibly do some incorporation on sort of learning the fire block in with this alongside supply and demand area and how the intermediate intermediary price is respected within the impulse move of the higher four hour path. Okay. So again, thanks very much.